What's up? This is Ray the Bad Guy again with another video. This video is about Lord Jamar interview with Umar Johnson about his school. That's right. Um, this interview was a great interview. You know, this interview actually exposed Umar Johnson. You know, um, I think Lord Jamar is probably the first brother that has a name for himself that put the hard questions to Umar Johnson. Remember, Umar Johnson was on The Breakfast Club. He was on um, Nick Cannon. And they never really put no questions to him. They just, you know, congratulate him for um, trying to build a school and stuff. And when they get built, you know, um, I'll come there, you know, and, and support it and stuff like that. They never put the hard questions to him. But Lord Jamar did. He asked him why it's taking so long. It's been 10 years. It was fussing over that. He said it was really six years and stuff like that, whatever the case may be. He said you got all this donation money. Where is this donation money going to and stuff? And even Lord Jamar referred to a friend he has that built a school. And it only took him six months. Because he put the hard work in, he sacrificed. And Lord Jamar said, if you really want something, you're going to do it. So why haven't you built your school again? And Umar Johnson, he, he was upset, man. He was kind of going kind of going off on um, Lord Jamar because of the series of questions he was asking him. But Umar Johnson had an answer for that. He's saying it, well, your friend's school is not like my school. I have a charter school. It could take up to 10 years to open up a charter school, this and that, and a third and stuff. Now, I don't really believe that, but um, I know mm, putting up a school, it, it does take years to put up school, but not no 10 or 20, 30. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So, um, you have to check out this video, man. You got to check out this interview and stuff. It's the first interview where he actually really got grilled on what was going on. Like all the brothers on here have been grilling Umar Johnson. But now, finally, you got someone that got a name for themselves, a decent name for themselves in the hip-hop community and stuff like that. You know, uh, voice of the people, you could say, you know, that asked Umar the questions that need to be answered. But the sad thing is his fans. His fans is going to see this interview and going to say that he was set up, this and that, you know, Lord Jamar is an agent, this and that, a third, you know, um, he don't know what he's talking about, this and that, and a third. And they're going to continue to support Umar Johnson. I don't understand that. He, he got to some of the blindest followers ever, man. I mean, jeez. But um, question is, when are they going to wake up and find out that something is obviously wrong? I think that's probably why he chose this particular scam is a school because it takes a while to build a school. And he can drag it on for uh, decades. So who be a fool then? Not Umar, but his fans. The people who support him. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. So until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.